Hey you guys, 3 Series Garage here again. We got a slight tool update. Don't mind me and my jacket here. It's uh, 45 degrees outside at 4.30 in the morning, 5 o'clock. But here we go. The boy and the wife are sleeping. Perfect time to do this. That's besides the point. Anywho, here we go. Got some things for free, but that's besides the point. We're not going to mention that. This wonderful articulating light. I know a lot have asked about this. ECSP 1042 is your part number. This is the 500 lumen. Wonderful magnetic base. Really strong like. One of my uh, main uses for it was the fact that it has that light there on the side with the button. I can kind of open my toolbox the whole way and it's illuminated. Move it wherever I need. Lights on. Do whatever I need with the precision light. Wherever I need, it's there. Really handy light to have. I do like that. I also grabbed this. I needed this figuring out a window motor. Believe it or not. And I had to get one. This is a 4 to 49 volt. There's your part number. This one comes with three different lengths. Um, leads. Screws right on. I did use this and I did like it. Like it enough, I package it right back up. Clamp style. I don't trust uh, use yourself as the ground. That's uh, not very really smart if you'd ask me. This is really nice to have. This came in use with that window loader, which turns out it was good. On, I do believe it was a Chevy Malibu Max. Turns out they have no wiring problems in the doors. But that's here nor there and figured out already. Once again, really handy to have if you do a at home or in your garage electrical stuff. It don't matter. This is this is really handy to have. Something else I couldn't resist when I seen it. I've never had one. I do a lot of European BMW work, and while well, they're notorious for corrosion in the battery trays and terminals, right there, that fixes me up. Reversible ratchet in 10 millimeter. Really can't get them. Some fancy little pliers, I guess. Little hub here for cleaning them. Boy, that was stuck in there pretty good. That's why. And your side mount terminal cleaner. Really handy to have. Really nice set. Seen it? Said, yeah, I'll take it. Some much, much needed things. I was asked about the part number on this. It would be F, F, 80, A. Or it would be, yeah, F, F, 80, A. As you can see by my hand, this is the shorter version of the flex head to match. My longer version. Just waiting for my handle to come in and put on it. Got this little guy. T72 is your part number. Tiny. Really fine tooth quarter inch fixed head ratchet. That was a, a must. With a quarter inch on it, it's uh, not very big. 
Really, really handy to have. Really handy ratchet. Flat head version is even nicer, but it is what it is. This is what I got. And it kind of completes my quarter inch selection down there. Almost forgot this wild guy here. Just ordered this in about a week ago and it came yesterday. Mac 19 millimeter hex bolt RBRT. This is for the equipment drain plugs around the form here. Another thing I got that was primarily bought for the equipment. Let's see if we can get your part number in there. SPEX 10 LDS. It's your 10 piece left hand cobalt drill bit set. It's another online find. Five thirty seconds was used once, maybe. Everything in this set is almost brand new. Got it for I think it was forty five bucks shipped to my door. Some light markings on the case, nothing too hateful, I guess. Fits right in the extractor drawer, just like it was made for there. Last but not least would probably be the ACTV or ACTUV Pro KT. Freon detection gun. Well, leak detection gun, I guess you'd say. This is another online find. $25. The guy actually had sent it to my business address and then asked me to pay him when it arrived. I surely paid him all uh, once again. Thank you, Richard. This is a wonderful set to have for my BMWs and MK4 Volkswagens as we find lots of AC leaks. I have yet to break it out of the kit. It came with a full canister, which is another plus. But right now it looks good in the bottom drawer. And I'll just leave it there, kind of how it came. Well, I guess there was some extra things I got here. I got this. Got this off eBay. There's a part number, I do believe. Just a 3 8 um, oof, 3 8 spark plug socket set, foam set. I do not have the bent handle yet, which if anybody has one, please feel free to put it below in the comments. I will buy a 3 8 soft grip flex head ratchet, or aka spark plug ratchet. I do have the rest of the set pretty much to uh, throw in there and complete that. Get rid of that plastic tray and put this oversized foam in there. As you see, it already doesn't fit, but it's handy. It's really nice to have. As you see, miscellaneous. What is in it? Just a bunch of junk. It was another foam I got. That one was off the truck, though, not an eBay find. Shout out to Ethan Kiefer, the best rep anybody could have as far as Snap-on. But that is it for today's little tool haul. One of the biggest things I liked was my 500 lumen, I guess you want to call it gooseneck articulating light. But once again, ECSP 1042, that's your part number. Don't be afraid to check these out. Don't let the price tag scare you. They're well worth the money. They come standard with a six foot type C charging cord, which is very common. You lose it. You got another one. Everybody does. But so far, that is it for our small tool haul here today. It's been very slow lately with gathering materials 
trying to get everything around and get this shop taken down and put an official shop up. It's financially draining, but if you all like, comment, subscribe, keep me going. We will uh, we'll have a new building here up soon by spring. Thanks for following. Thanks for watching as always. And God bless y'all. Have a good day.